by now, it seems like you can't listen to a podcast, read a newspaper, or watch a TV show without hearing about artificial intelligence, or AI, and how it's going to revolutionize our lives. It's everywhere. Vacuum cleaning robots help keep our floors tidy. And in some cases, we have hotel concierge robots that can bring us toothpaste to our hotel rooms when we forget to bring some. We even have smart thermostats that efficiently keep our homes at our preferred temperatures. But the next wave of autonomous systems that will shape our world are going to be different. Because in addition to automating physical tasks, they're also going to be making decisions on our behalf as well. Now, in some cases, we're already there. AI picks what we'll see next on Netflix and YouTube and chooses our route in Google Maps. Today, we don't tend to lose much sleep over how and why these systems work. We tend to be much more concerned with the what, as in, what can it do for me? But what happens when we have AI systems that are making critical decisions that significantly impact our lives? What happens when we have medical robots diagnosing our illnesses or performing surgery on us? Or when AI is driving our kids' school bus? Or when we have robotic seeing eye dogs for the visually impaired? In order to trust AI, we first need to understand the decisions it makes and the process that it uses. And that means caring a lot more about how AI does what it does and why. This idea is central to my group's work in the Collaborative Artificial Intelligence and Robotics Lab at the University of Colorado Boulder, where we're working to advance a field of research called Explainable AI. Now, today, we already have remarkably capable and fairly intelligent autonomous systems that are capable of explaining how and why they make decisions. Of course, I'm referring to people. <laughs> now, regardless of what we might say about having trust issues with people, we actually trust other people all the time to make important decisions for us, from building our airplanes to cooking our food to just driving us around safely. And if we're going to have trustworthy AI systems that can perform in roles like these, well, we first need to understand why we trust humans. So typically, when we're trying to figure out if we trust someone, we use two methods, demonstration and explanation. We can ask for demonstrations, like asking your teenager to parallel park the car on the street outside your home, as evidence that they'll be able to safely do that downtown without bumping into somebody else. When demonstrations are hard to get, we instead ask people to explain their rationale or their decision-making process. After all, if they can explain themselves and their decision-making process in detail, we should pretty quickly be able to figure out if we're on the same page or if there's some kind of fundamental disconnect in our understanding. <laughs> now, with AI, this is tricky because it's difficult for us to communicate and to understand each other. We don't have shared perspectives or experiences. Imagine if everything you ever learned about humans came from the perspective of a robot car driving through a city. How could you possibly understand what a person stopping to tie their shoes was doing or why they were doing it? I mean, in order to do that, you'd have to know what shoes are, you'd have to know that people wear shoes, that shoes come untied, and so on. Our autonomous systems tend to behave as if they were born yesterday because in many cases, they effectively were. Because they don't share our experiences, they don't have what we would call common sense. And that's why their model of the world can be so vastly different from our own. Explainable AI can help us figure out these differences, improving communication between AI and humans. But in order to get there, we first need to rethink how we create intelligent systems. So typically, we would write computer code to define rules and logic to help them sense, think, and act. But it's just not feasible to anticipate the infinite number of hypothetical scenarios that an AI might find itself in when it's acting in the real world. So instead, it's better that we write code allowing these systems to learn from demonstrations and experiences, extracting patterns from the data to generate their own rules and logic. This is called machine learning. And fortunately for us, it does tend to work pretty well at finding difficult rules or complex patterns in data that humans may never be able to figure out. Unfortunately for us, it can be pretty difficult to figure out what the machine really learned or how and why it learned what it did. It can be a black box. So this introduces a challenge. 
If I can't just look at the rules, how do I know what they are? How do I know that the right rules were captured? A great example of this was an AI system that was trained to identify if a photo contained either a wolf or a dog. And at first glance, it seems like the researchers got this one right. Until you realize that this system doesn't actually know anything about wolves or dogs, but rather picked up on the fact that there was snow in the background of every single photo of a wolf. <laughs> and so it learned to identify them based on the snow in the background. If I showed this system a photo of a wolf on a grassy field, it's going to tell me that it's a dog, because it learned the wrong rules. Explainable AI can help us figure out what a machine knows and if we can trust it. Now, I should be able to ask my robotic seeing eye dog questions, questions like, if there's a human two feet in front of you, will you avoid them? What will you do if the elevator is full? Or why didn't you tell me that the crosswalk light was red? Important questions that give me critical insight into the machine's decision-making process, questions that can save me time and hardship, but most importantly, questions that we need answers to if we're going to deploy AI systems that make critical decisions for us. Now, this introduces another communication challenge. Our robots and AI systems are going to need to be able to communicate to us using the same higher-level concepts that, that we use to summarize and otherwise make sense of our world. That means that seeing eye dog robot is going to need to be able to express itself using concepts like person or elevator or crosswalk. Next, we need to make sure that these systems understand these concepts the same way that we do. So consider this example. I could ask my robot, hey, if this is two feet in front of you, are you going to avoid it? Great, OK. What about this one? OK, fantastic. So if I was talking to a person, at this point, it's pretty clear that they understand that all of these examples are of humans, and I probably don't need to ask them any more questions. But with a robot, it would be dangerous for me to assume that it understands this concept based on just a few examples. After all, without asking further questions, you'd never be able to figure out that this particular robot was identifying people by the sandals that they're wearing because it was trained on data collected over the summer, and that's just what people happen to be wearing at the time. By making our robots and AI systems explainable, we can figure out when they've captured the right rules and if we can trust them. And with trustworthy AI, we can deploy autonomous vehicles to bring mobility and autonomy back to populations who can't drive. We can use human-robot teams to improve efficiency and safety in manufacturing, and we can revolutionize medicine, reducing costs while improving quality of care. But to achieve this reality, we need broad participation. We need everybody to be able to be asking these kinds of questions to help create and shape trustworthy AI systems that fit into a vision of the future for all of us, not just a world designed by programmers or researchers. The famed physicist and Nobel laureate Dennis Gabor once wrote, the future cannot be predicted, but futures can be invented. And when we can bridge the gaps in understanding between how we think and how our AI systems think, we can be sure that we invent the future that we intend to. Thank you. Thank you.